Hi everyone! Here's another video tutorial that we may use in studying our lesson in basic calculus. In today's video, we're going to discuss the antiderivatives of functions yielding exponential functions and logarithmic functions. Theorems on integrals yielding the exponential and logarithmic functions. First, the integral of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x plus c. Next, the integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over the natural logarithm of a plus c. Here, a is greater than 0 with a not equal to 1. And then third, the integral of x raised to negative 1 dx is equal to the integral of 1 over x dx, which is also equal to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin mamaya sa pagsagot ng mga halimbawa natin. So, let's now proceed to the examples. So, find the integrals of the following functions. So, class, nilagay lang natin dito yung theorems na pwede natin magamit sa pagsasagot ng mga example natin. So, for number 1, let's find the integral of the quantity of e raised to x plus 2 raised to x dx. So, kagaya nung na-discuss natin, na theorems dun sa una nating video tutorial, pwede nating paghiwalayin itong dalawa. So, we can express this as uh, the integral of e raised to x dx plus the integral of 2 raised to x dx. So, isa-isahin natin to. So, the integral of e raised to x dx, uh, pwede nating gamitin yung unang theorem. Okay? Na discuss natin dun sa previous slide. So, the integral of e raised to x dx equal lang yan sa e raised to x plus c. So, ito, equal lang yan sa e raised to x plus c. Next, itong integral of 2 raised to x dx, we can use the second theorem. Ang a naman natin dito is yung 2. Okay? So, take note, ang a natin uh, should be greater than 0 and it should not be equal to 1. So, ayan. So, ang a natin dito is 2. So, integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over the natural logarithm of a plus c. So, in this case, ito, integral of 2 raised to x dx, equal lang yan sa 2 raised to x over the natural logarithm of 2 plus c. Okay? So, equal lang ito sa e raised to x plus 2 raised to x over the natural logarithm of 2 plus c. So, nasa dulo na yung ating um, arbitrary constant. So, ito na yung ating answer. Okay? So, pag kinuha natin yung derivative na to, kailangan ito yung makuha natin. Okay? Kaya nga, antiderivative. So, let's have the second example. So, let's find the integral of 3 raised to x dx. So, similarly, pwede natin gamitin yung second theorem. So, ang a natin in this case is 3. So, we will have um, ito, integral of 3 raised to x dx equal lang yan sa 3 raised to x over the natural logarithm of 3 plus c. Ayan. So, again, equal lang yan sa 3 raised to x over ln of 3 plus c. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay? So, proceed tayo with the third example. So, let's find the integral of 3 raised to x plus 1 dx. Ngayon, class, pwede natin gamitin naman dito yung rules on exponents natin. So, we can uh, express this as the integral of 3 raised to x times 3 raised to 1 dx. So, kung natatandaan natin dun sa rules on exponents natin, if we have the same basis kapag nagmumultiply tayo, uh, pwede natin i-add yung kanilang exponents. So, equal lang yun sa... So, ito, itong 3 raised to x times 3 raised to 1, it's actually equal to 3 raised to x plus 1. Ano, since pareho sila ng basis, uh, kapag minultiply natin yung dalawa, so yung base, raised to, i-add lang yung kanilang exponent. So, basically, ito, equal lang yan dito. Ngayon, ang 3 raised to 1 is equal to 3. Ano, so constant yan. Pwede na natin yang ilabas. So, we will have uh, 3 times the integral of 3 raised to x dx. Okay? And, uh, pwede uli natin gamitin dito yung second theorem. Ano, ang a naman natin in this case is 
3. So, we will have uh, equal ito sa, yung integral of 3 raised to x dx ay equal sa 3 raised to x over ln of 3 plus c. So, we will have 3 times the quantity of 3 raised to x over the natural logarithm of 3 and then plus c. So, this will be our final answer. Next, fourth example tayo class. So, we, if we are asked to find the integral of 2 over x dx, so, una, uh, pwede natin ilabas yung 2. Ano? So, we will have 2 times the integral of 1 over x dx. Ngayon, um, using yung third theorem natin, ang integral of 1 over x dx ay equal lang sa ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So, ibig sabihin ito, equal lang yan sa ln uh, of the absolute value of x plus c. So, we will have 2 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. So, this will be the final answer. Let's now continue our discussion. So, let's proceed with the antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. So, antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. First, the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. So, kung gusto natin itry, kapag kinuha natin yung derivative ng negative cosine x plus c, we'll actually get sine x. Ano? So, example, ang derivative ng uh, cosine x is negative sine x. So, negative of negative sine x, we have positive sine x. And ang derivative ng constant is, of course, 0. So, sine x. So, equal yun dito. Ang derivative na to ay equal sa sine x. Okay, so again, the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. Second, the integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. Third, the integral of secant squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. Fourth, the integral of cosecant squared x dx is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. Fifth, the integral of secant x times tangent x dx is equal to secant x plus c. And, the integral of cosecant x times cotangent x dx is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. So, tingnan natin yung mga example natin. So, determine the antiderivatives of the following. So, again, nilagay ko dito, class, yung ating uh, na-discuss kanina as our guide sa pagsasagot nung ating examples. So, una. Number one, the integral of the quantity of cosine x minus sine x dx. So, again, pwede natin paghiwalayin muna itong dalawa. So, we will have the integral of cosine x dx minus the integral of sine x dx. Next, Ang integral ng cosine x dx, so yung tingnan natin yung second one dito. So, ang integral of cosine x dx ay equal sa sine x plus c. Okay, so we have here um, sine x plus c. And then, yung integral ng sine x dx dito ay, ayun, negative cosine x plus c. So, we will have sine x minus, yung operation kanina, uh, negative cosine x plus c. So, nasa dulo na yung arbitrary constant. So, we will have sin x plus cosine x plus c. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Next, number 2, the integral of cotangent squared x dx. So, we know that cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1. So, we can express this as this one. Okay. So, the integral of cotangent squared x dx ay equal lang sa integral of the quantity of cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. So, paghiwalayin ulit natin. So, we will have the integral of cosecant squared x dx minus, yung operation natin, the integral of dx. So, base dito, ang integral of cosecant squared x dx ay Negative cotangent x plus c. Okay? And again, ang integral of dx 
ay x. Diba? As discussed dun sa nauna nating video tutorial. So, we will have negative cotangent x minus x kasi nga yung operation natin ay subtraction plus yung ating arbitrary constant na c. So, ito na yung ating final answer. So, proceed tayo with the third example, class. Number three. So, the integral of tangent squared v dv. So, again, we know that tangent squared v is equal to secant squared v minus 1. So, we can express this as the integral of the quantity of secant squared v minus 1 dv. So, just like what we did earlier, paghiwalayan natin. So, we will have the integral of secant squared v dv minus the integral of dv. Ngayon, ang integral ng secant squared v dv, so, gamitin natin yung pangatlo, equal lang yan sa tangent v plus c. Okay? Minus, again, ang integral ng dv is, of course, v. So, we will have tangent v minus v plus c. Okay, nilagay na natin sa dulo yung arbitrary constant. So, ito na yung ating final answer. So, the integral of tangent squared v dv is equal to tangent v minus v plus c. Next, number 4. So, let's have the fourth example. Ayan, the integral of sine x over cosine squared x dx. Ngayon, class, pwede natin itong express as the integral of sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x dx. So, mapapansin natin, ito naman ay equal lang din dito. Ano? Kasi, di ba, sine x times 1, sine x pa rin. Cosine x times cosine x, we have cosine squared x. Okay? Ngayon, uh, base din sa mga nauna nating discussion, actually sa prequel na discussed din before, sine x over cosine x equal lang yan sa tangent x. Okay? So, we will have the integral of tangent x and 1 over cosine x is actually equal to secant x. Okay? So, again, the integral of sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x dx is just equal to the integral of tangent x times secant x dx. Okay? Ngayon, the integral of secant x times tangent x dx. So, tingnan natin yung ikalima. Okay, yung letter E dito. So, the integral of secant x times tangent x dx is equal to secant x plus c. So, ibig sabihin, equal lang ito sa secant x plus c. So, ito na yung ating final answer. So, with that, um, ito yung reference na ginamit natin in creating this uh, presentation. So, sana ay meron tayong natutuhan sa ating video tutorial. So, it's the end of the video and thank you all for watching. Bye, students!